What about President Biden? As you mentioned, he is an unpopular president. Just a bit over, almost two weeks ago, a special counsel report came out on his handling of classified documents. Do you think this will in any way impact 2024? It's happened already. Biden continues to lose support. Democrats continue to look at him and say, you know, Mr. President, thank you for your service. Thank you for beating Donald Trump. Thank you for all that you've done to put the country back on track. Now, sir, please retire. We get this in focus groups. We see this in polling. That even people who like him, who like what he's done for the country, still look at him straight in the eye, as I'm doing to you right now, and say, it's time to go. What I do not understand is when that number hit 80% who now say that Joe Biden's age is a reason to vote against him. When that number reaches 80%, it's a national consensus, but it does not seem to have any impact on his eagerness to participate. I'm told that his biggest supporter in this is Jill Biden. I would have thought that she, more than anyone, would have wanted him to retire, to have time together. Uh, we've never seen this kind of politics. Biden is in worse shape today than Ronald Reagan was. And we look back on it now and we think, why didn't we ask President Reagan to step aside those last two years when he was battling certain conditions? We see it in Biden's walk. We hear it in his talk. We watch him participate in these press conferences. Look, I know this guy. I met him. As a human being, he's one of the most decent. But in the end, the public is saying enough. But he doesn't hear that. If the public is saying enough, Democrats saying enough, is there any world based on the Democrats you've talked to that would instead v change their vote from Biden to Donald Trump? That's a good question, and it's not likely. But this election is going to be decided by one or two percent, which means these third party candidates, if they decide to run or participate, are going to have outsized impact. When someone says to me, well, that candidate is only getting three or four percent of the vote. Well, yeah, three or four percent is going to determine at least half a dozen states, probably more. In fact, you're going to have uh, half a dozen states decided by two percent or less. So make no mistake. An independent candidacy, depending on where the votes come from, is going to have an outside impact. And there are so many Democrats who will not vote for Donald Trump that they're looking for this third party alternative. And there are plenty of Republicans doing the same.